We're moving to the Labour Court now. It's Judgment Day in the case for the four axed SABC journalists. Now, the four are part of a group of eight journalists who were let go by or sacked by the public broadcaster for reportedly objecting to the alleged censorship at the SABC. Solidarity lawyer had urged uh, in Labour Court in Johannesburg the SABC's decision to fire the journalists was unconstitutional. SABC's lawyer had urged that the fired journalists were bound by their contractual obligations not to air the channel's matters with other media. Well, let's take a listen into the arguments from both sides in the court on Friday. Despite this extraordinary public debate and extraordinary public condemnation, and despite the pending proceedings in the Triple C, the SABC was intent on preventing any external or internal debate about the protest policy. Now, my Lord, that is not merely a submission. That is a factual allegation which is made on the papers and which is not denied, except in the boldest terms. At page 10, paragraph 30, the pleading is, the allegation is made. The SABC was intent on preventing any internal or external debate about the protest policy. Even internal criticism of the protest policy by very senior journalists was therefore met with an immediate disciplinary response. The issue of, of, of the rights uh, of freedom of expression under Section 16 of the Constitution does not arise simply because this is an employer-employee relationship and there is a breach of contract. Uh, it's not uh, relevant for purposes of this argument what, what the issues were between the parties, that were between the employer and employees. But my Lord, it, it is an issue between employer and employee. 